there everybody, my name is Coach Shadogs, the World Bot Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News Room update. This is from Thought Park Resort. Now before we get started, big shout out goes to Coaster Mission. Uh, so if you want to shout out in our next video, please comment down below. The next video recorded will be on the Friday. Uh, so if you want to shout out for Friday, please comment down below. Also, as you may well have seen, we've got a brand new cover picture, and that is the new modernised uh, Coast Chow logo. Uh, so I hope you guys really like that as well. Um, the original badge will stay the same with the intro and the thumbnails, however, just to show a bit of a cover photo, just to show you like a more modernised professional look to the uh, front of it. Uh, like the old badge is kind of like a symbol now, it's kind of like a little symbol just to, you know, for the channel. But the new cover photo, the modern badge, we're going to be pushing full force with that in 2021 or sometime this year. So stay tuned for any updates on that. But that's just like a new cover photo just to sort of show you guys. And also you'll see the brand new channel art, the new black channel art with the red coast channel right in established 2018. Thinking of doing that for brand new merchandise, brand new designer hoodies or something like that. So. Uh, you never know, there's been a few people in the past that have called for, new mer for, for actually selling merchandise. I may do that in the future, so stay tuned for any updates on that. Um, and like I said, this channel is going to go through a whole professional outlook, so make sure you stay tuned for all of that. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And make sure you also comment down below your questions. For the 1500 subscriber Q&A, make sure you get your hashtag question in before or after your question in the comment section below. We'll be starting on Instagram very, very soon as well, so stay tuned for that. And for now, let's finally, finally, get into this video. So this is all about a brand new teaser that Thought Parks Resort have released about 2020. Now, this brand new teaser, I mean, you'll see... Well, you'll see part of it in the thumbnail for this video, but if you want to see the full picture of the teaser, credit goes to Thought Park for the image on your screen now. Find a bit Aussie. And uh, yeah, basically, if you have no idea what the caption was, uh, system initializing dot dot dot. Hashtag Thought Park, but the O is a capital, the T is a capital at the start, the E is a capital, and the R is a capital. So it's T H capital O R P capital E, P A, capital R K. So it's still hashtag thought pop, which did a different way. And the picture, of course, if you didn't see it already, like I said, it's on your screen already, it is Stealth. Now, if you want a bit of background knowledge, for those of you who have no idea about this ride, Stealth opened on the 15th of March, 2006. It's an intermittent accelerator coaster, uh, a height of 205.1 feet, a speed of 80 miles per hour, uh, a length of 1,312.3 feet. It's on the former site of Model World. Now, this was one of the classic attractions from the 80s days of Thought Park. Uh, this had like Model World, and there was the old Flying Fish, where you know it was all. It used to be known as Space Station Zero, and then it was all located outside, and known as the Flying Fish. Uh, then Stealth came in, and of course, you know the story of the Flying Fish, Thought Park enthusiasts. You'll know that they brought that right back after a year in a brand new location near Depth Charge. So, um, you know, it's 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 got a bit of history. So, you know, on the old site of the Flying Fish, and of course the remains of the Model World, you know, Model World became smaller and smaller and smaller. It's kind of like your modern day Miniland, but not made out of Lego. <laughs> your non-Lego Miniland. Um, so yeah, basically that sort of model world grew smaller and smaller and smaller and it was finally all removed, ready for stealth to begin construction in 2005 and open in, uh, well 2004, and, and open when it did. So, um, you know, construction really picked up the pace on stealth and it was finally opened on the 15th of March. Um, and stealth is a, it's a good coaster, I'm not going to lie, I'll do a full review video of stealth in the future if I'm not already uploading it. Um... I believe I've already uploaded it. I can't remember. Um, if I have, please let me know. Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, Stealth is a good coaster. Um, now, of course, with the picture... Now, the first teaser, actually, the first teaser that was released uh, a couple of months ago now, um, or about a month or so ago, 
um, it had like a family outside stealth and it was kind of like glitchy, kind of like this one. This is another one on Ride of Stealth this time uh, and it's very glitchy as you already saw on the picture you know, on your, that was on your screen earlier. Uh, but this says to me, that, and, and this is just going off what I think, I think something could be happening with stealth. Now, all, we know last season it was closed for a couple of weeks uh, or a few weeks to sort of get one of the parts to fix the hydraulic launch motor. Uh, I know people pointed that out to me a couple of times, so... Um, you know, they were, so they had to sort of get a new part. It was the same with Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point, but that was a much quicker process. Uh, so they had to get a brand new part, I believe, for the hydraulic launch motor. Uh, so, there's plenty of speculation going around. I know a lot of people have put in their own speculations about what this teaser could mean. And a lot of people say either a re-theme of stealth or VR added to stealth. Now, you all know my thoughts on virtual reality. It only works when it's at, running at its best. Darren Brown's Ghost Train is a prime example of wishy-washy, and that's just being kind. Now, Darren Brown's Ghost Train, as an experience, it's one of my top dart rides in the country. You know, it's one of my top dart rides I've ever done. But, I feel like if it doesn't have VR, it won't work. If the VR's wishy-washy, the experience will be destroyed. I feel like Thought Park, me personally in the future, should take VR off of Darren Brown and fix it so it doesn't need virtual reality on the ride. So maybe like some projections in the little windows of the train uh, to represent the, the guy with the, the lantern like you see in the VR and do like as a projection screen instead. Um, have like um, like different effects on your seats like, like, uh, like ticklers on your back and your legs and jets blowing into your back and sort of sound speakers like you see in one of the scenes of the Alton Towers dungeon, the Dick Turpin scene, if you haven't seen it. Um, in the Alton Towers dungeon, it's the highwayman scene. You have like speakers on the bench if you've if you've ever been on the dungeons before. Or last year when it opened, uh, they look like speakers on each bench so you can hear the, like the sound kind of travels kind of thing. So, you know, something like that would be good for Darren Brown's Ghost Train. So with stealth, I think VR is a bad option, especially since it's already on Darren Brown's Ghost Train. And I think it's an example of things that may not work. So I think that option, in my personal opinion, is out of the question. A re-theme of stealth, however, in general, would be a welcome move. Now, we know they've got Angry Birds Land. Stealth is part of the Amity area, so I feel like a system initialising maybe could suggest that that section of Amity where stealth is is going to become its own little mini plaza, like a, a glitched out sci-fi mini plaza kind of thing. Um, obviously, it's probably going to keep the name because stealth kind of works with both themes, both the, the Amity Raceway and like going for like a sci-fi glitchy kind of theme. I think that stealth is a good name for that. So I think the name, if it is going to be a full re-theme of the ride, I think that a, a name change won't be happening. I feel like they'll keep the name stealth. If it is going to be a name change, then I'll be interested to see uh, what well, you guys think it'll be changed to if it is going to be a re-theme with a name change. So comment down below, if Stealth's going to get its name changed, what will you change it to with that sort of glitchy, system initialising kind of re-theme? Uh, but in my personal opinion, I think that a name change won't be on the cards. I think Stealth will keep the same name. And I think they'll just change the theme a bit, maybe paint it up a little bit differently. Um, I think maybe they'll probably keep the colour scheme, I don't know. Maybe just change some of the aspects around the queue line and around the ride. Um... You know, maybe maybe they could even do like a portal thing like they do with Galactica, uh, but do like a, um, like a space door kind of thing, um, sort of going up into the top part. Maybe enclosed if if they could do it, uh, if they could keep the keep the ride closed over a few months and open it in the summer, like sort of July, June June July August at the latest. Uh, maybe. You could, if you if you had that sort of timeline to do it between now and around July, August, to, to reopen it, uh, I think you could potentially do, like, a, a enclose the station. Uh, so, like, put a building over the top of the station, and then literally you'd launch it. Like, you take your traffic lights off, hot cabin would be inside the station, part of the queue line would be in the station, like the end of the queue line, etc. Uh, and... I think you could, if you if you really wanted to, if Thought Park really wanted to, they could potentially um, like add like a, a sci-fi type launch sequence that it launches you out of the um, sort of uh, station building, 
uh, and you go outside and then you sort of go on that massive hill break run and then you turn back inside. So the station and the launch would be the only things that's kind of enclosed. So it doesn't require much planning really. I don't think it really requires a planning application unless it's, you know, really needed to. Uh, but I think that, I think because the whole planned thing and the planning applications and the fact we haven't got any yet, I don't think they're going to enclose the station personally. I think what we're just looking at here is just uh, just a simple like paint up job to make sure it's looking all fresh and that, and just a logo change and a sign, ch an entrance sign change really, um, and that's easy to plan. So I think if they were going to do that and change the entrance sign, we'll probably see that in the next few weeks, um, or maybe potentially. Um, They'll have done these plans behind closed doors and we haven't seen any leaks or anything like that. So And they haven't sort of disclosed the plans yet. So um, you never know what's going on behind closed doors. But I think what we're looking at here is a possible retheme of stealth. Please comment down below. What do you guys think? Um, I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update from Thought Park Resort. Like I said, very interesting teasers. It's all happening around stealth, these teasers. So this says to me that stealth is the main focus of... Uh, initializing 2020. Uh, so thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please, 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 please comment down below your questions using the hashtag question before or after your question. This seems to be all before, so I think that's the route we're going down. Um, and also make sure you get your shout outs in for Friday. So thank you very much. My name is Coach Jalco and the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day.